Hi, it's Patrick again. I'm using Adobe's Media Encoder, which is part of the Creative Cloud or Creative Suite applications. Um, what I'm using it for is to create a watch folder that is going to use a preset of the Expression Video Codec. So let's build that preset first and we'll do it pretty quick. I'm going to come in here under the preset browser window and I'm going to click on the folder icon with the plus to say that I want to create a new preset group. And I'm going to click on the plain plus sign here to create my new preset. I call it Expression Movies. And we use an AVI format for the expression files. And I don't want to use NTSCs or DVs. Instead, I'm going to leave this alone for a second. I'm going to come down to the tabs down here, make sure video is selected. And under Video Codec, I'm going to choose Expression Video Codec. Um, the version I have here is with the software that I've got installed, which the expression application, when it gets installed on a computer, installs the codec with a version number that matches it. Um, any system that expression is installed on will have that. It will also have on its desktop a shortcut to the expression video coder, which is a job-based version of this codec that will allow you to put a whole bunch of files in and trigger one batch, but it's not a watch folder. Um, here we go. So in video, I am changed my codec setting. I'm now going to come in and change the quality, which is going to make it HD, which is 1920 by 1080. I'm going to leave it at 2997. I'm going to tell it to be progressive. I'm going to tell it that I want to use square pixels. I'm going to scroll down just a bit here. I'm going to tell it to render maximum depth, 32 bit in case I have alpha channels on my videos that I'm converting. Um, I'm going to go over to the audio tab to confirm that I'm doing 48K that I'm doing 16-bit, that I'm doing stereo. I'm not doing any captions. I'm not using an FTV server at this point, although I could. Um, and for effects, I'm not doing any lookup tables for color schemes. I'm not doing any overlays of images, names, or time codes, so I'm not worried about that. I well, do want to make sure that I've got export video and export audio set. I'm also going to put a comment in here so that I know what this is later. So I put that in and I'm going to click OK. So now I've got a preset that I've built in here. It's called Expression Movies. That's pretty straightforward, but what I want to do now is down at the bottom, there's a tab in this application called Watch Folders. I'm going to click on the plus sign and it's going to take me to a folder. I'm going to look on my desktop. I've got a folder called Turner Test. I'm going to select that and I have to come down here and again choose my preset, telling doing AVI and that I want to do Expression Movies is the codec, and I've already picked my destination, which is going to be, or my source, which is the Turner test. Now I've got another folder that I want to choose where the output files are going to go, and on my desktop I've got a folder called Turner Finished Files. So I'll be using both of those. Now, I've got those pieces put together, so now I have the parameters for my watch folder. I've got a source folder, a destination folder, and I've got a preset to tell it how to flip them around. Now I'm going to open up a couple file folders here. I've got one folder full of ProRes files, and I've got my target folder. I'm going to take these files right here. I'm going to copy them in, so they're now part of that folder. I'm going to minimize these two windows, and in the process of that starting, you'll notice that encoding of those files has started. Um, I've got it set so that it makes a chime every time it finishes a file. That's great. I'm going to let these go for a bit. I'm going to go over to Expression while we're waiting. I'm going to come into the Materials Manager. I'm going to create a new material that is a video. I'm going to pick the Geico timeout. Click OK. And you'll see I now have a new texture there. I'm going to go and put that to, to a couple of parameters. I'm going to tell it that it plays once that it's auto start, meaning when my scene is played on output, that will automatically start rather than something that needs to trigger it. That's just making my life a little easier at this point. So that's available to me. Now I'm going to click on my object library and add a quad to my scene. And I'm going to go back to my materials manager and I'm going to assign that texture to it. So now in my scene, I have a video file that's playing out and you can see that there in my output. I think you can hear in the background that I have audio playing with this also. So this has imported the whole scene for me. And there we go. We now have uh, files that we've imported using a watch folder that now become eligible for expression.